Hi, Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com here at DevOps Enterprise Summit, and I'm joined by my friend Chris Borman, CMO of Automic. Thanks very much indeed for having me here. It's great Chris, to welcome. be here. welcome. Another good event, by the way. Fantastic. I thought it was a great yeah, event. It's been a well. great event. But I think part of what makes it a great event is because, let's face it, DevOps is happening, right? We're hearing it speaker after speaker, attendee after attendee. They're undertaking DevOps transformation. It's making a huge difference in their business. Uh, there, we are seeing metrics, ROIs, rate of returns, and and just you know high performing IT organizations killing it. And the Gulf, not only are they killing it, the Gulf is widening between the haves and the have-nots, if you will, of of DevOps. Now, Atomic is is a leader in in the DevOps space as a, as a vendor. And I, I've got to assume rubber meets the road here. If DevOps is doing that well, Atomic should be doing that well. Is, is that the case? Well, certainly. Um, thanks very much indeed for having me here as well. And it's been a, yeah, it's been a good year. We, our financial year closed at the end of April. Mm -hmm. And um, we had our best ever year, which is really, really? fantastic. We had um, best ever year in terms of revenue. Our Q4 was our best ever Q4. Wow. Um, What's particularly interesting, though, is our ARA business grew over 200% year on year. That's and beautiful. And from a DevOps point of view, this is really why um, we're so excited about being here, is that um, our customers um, are basically looking for agility. They're looking for speed. And it's been amazing listening here to all the various customers because, of course, agility is a big, big thing. And the thing that... I hadn't fully appreciated is how many people are also now talk, talking about continuous delivery as quality. Yeah. Um, so many companies are talking about how continuous delivery is just driving the quality up in terms of what they're delivering. You know what? Uh, uh, John Willis and, and Damon Edwards this morning spoke about sort of the iron triangle, right? Speed, quality, speed, quality, and the third thing, and I'm drawing a blank on it now. But it, it's almost counterintuitive. Oh, automation, right? So if we go faster, mm -hmm. right, it also gets better and we become more profitable or efficient. It, it just, usually they tell you you can have two out of three, mm -hmm. right? And two out of three ain't bad as yes. the song goes. But, but the, you know, the, the, the cold fusion of DevOps, if you will, is that you can get three out of three. And ultimately, that's where automation comes in. Yes. And everybody talks about automation. And Atomic as a leader in business automation, it's, it's all we do. We don't do anything else, as you know. Yeah. And automation is the thing that gives you the repeatability. Automation is the thing that gives you that quality of process. Automation is the thing, you can go faster and faster, yes, but if you, do, if you rely on manual processes, that's where the errors come in. And ultimately, the quality then drives forward when you use automation across that entire tool chain. And that's one of the things that we're seeing happening within clients is how they are driving that quality up. And it's brilliant to see. Yep. Chris, I want to focus in on Automic a little bit. And I'm not, I don't mean to yep. put you on the spot or embarrass you. But, you know, so many times with DevOps, especially when you talk to people who aren't familiar with DevOps, they say, oh, yeah, there's all these little new companies, you know, but they're sort of... You know, the, you have your 800-pound gorillas, the IBMs and so forth. But all these other newer vendors, they're small peanut stuff. But Atomic has some size to it. Give our audience a, a sense. How many customers these days do you know with Atomic? So we're at, we're at 2,700 customers now. We're a global company. We've been in business, as you know, for over 20 years. Um, and certainly um, the thing that we've learned is to deal with the complex. The thing that we've learned is to deal with the heterogeneity. And you're right, DevOps um, is growing. And a year ago, companies were looking at DevOps as, I've got a single application, and I like what I'm doing, and how do I scale? My analogy as a marketeer is the website. Anybody can build a website. Yeah. You can throw a website up there, put a page up, anybody can do it. It's easy. Mm -hmm. What becomes more complicated is that when you have different languages, different teams, different geographies, multiple solutions, complexity, suddenly it becomes more complicated and you've got the, the same thing happening in DevOps. DevOps emerged as a capability for fast building of new customer-facing applications, the front office. But the front office is always connected to the back office. Yeah. And from our point of view, what we bring to bear is the understanding and knowledge of that heterogeneous environment 
um, because we, as the most open um, DevOps provider with our release automation product, can help organizations move to an agile way of delivering that encompasses that core, complex back-end environment as well as the easier single threading front end, if that's right. if I could say it that way. And, and that's another theme, actually, Chris, that we've heard from several people here today, which is, you know, as and I don't mean to belittle the front end developer, mm. the the mm. that that single thread, if mm. you will, the the new stuff. It, it almost it's almost as if it doesn't take a genius to start on a green field with new stuff, with new technology, and create something really mm. cool out of it. But especially like here at the DevOps Enterprise Summit, we're not about startup or cloud native yeah, correct. Uh, companies. We're about brownfields yeah. where we have uh, legacies and we have, we have a core of, of, of uh, infrastructure that we need to, we don't leave it behind. We leave, you know, we, that would kill our business. It's about speeding that yeah. core up, not, not about this periphery of shiny new trinket yeah. here. That's easy. It, it's this that's the, the nitty gritty. And, and that's a lot of the stories here. And it's a lot of what o Atomic yes. deals with as well. Exactly right. And um, yeah, I don't mean to belittle the front because the front office is amazingly, incredibly dynamic. Yes. But the, um, the elephant in the room is that back office. Yeah. The elephant in the room is how do we drive agile ops within the enterprise whilst we are driving agile DevOps in the customer-facing environment. Yeah. And for my, my view is that it is driving that agility into the core of your computing environment. You don't need to throw it all away. You should, people don't have the time or the resources to throw everything away. Yes, the cloud's coming. Most organizations are in the cloud, using the cloud. That's fine. And it's, a, it's a, an increasingly heterogeneous environment. But it is that core environment. And for us, what we're looking at is how can we help enterprises, all 2,700 of our customers, to make that core environment agile, to make the ops environment, to drive agility in that ops environment in terms of how they can actually drive it. And, and we should clear for our audience, when we talk about agile and agility, we're talking both about sort of agile in terms of mm -hmm. scrum agile, mm -hmm. But we're also talking about, let's call it generic agility, yeah. which is the ability to be agile, Correct. right? And not, not just in, in that narrow focus of a scrum master and, and stand-ups, though it's nice to be able to take agile to ops, mm. right? And I think that drives a lot of DevOps and a lot of lean, yep. right? Is agile, agile a dev takes you to a, a point, and then what's, how do I cross that chasm to mm. ops, right? Can I take that agile... Correct. manifesto that agile way of doing yeah. things and and move it to ops and and that's yeah. devops and it's lean and it's a lot of these newer things we're seeing but it, it's the whole concept of agility agility within an enterprise and, and we're that's really why, talking about enterprises yeah. and that's why every enterprise is for what i hear is that agility is about how they can take advantage of new opportunities how they can um, beat their competitors to market, yep. how they can respond quickly. Um, every industry is being disrupted. We hear it all the time. Yes. And so agility is, is giving the business the agility to move in a new direction quickly and efficiently. And that's the agility I'm talking about, sure. which is the same thing, which is how, and to do that, then the core IT environment has got to become more agile. And that's, that's where we, with our release automation and our um, automation solutions, we're looking at helping clearly the customer-facing apps to be more compliant and scalable. Yes, get that. But also bridging into that core environment, helping that to be agile as well. Fantastic. Yeah. So, Chris, it sounds a little bit like Atomic is sort of the canary in the coal mine for the DevOps market as a whole. And uh, <laughs> not been called that before. <laughs> no, well, I thought that was a new one. And uh, look, we wish you tremendous continued yeah. success with this because I think you know the rising tide lifts all boats as well. well thank and you, and thank you very much indeed for inviting you. me on here. And it's always it's always great in, yeah. insight.
to hear you and, and hear what, what's happening and what you're seeing. Because, of course, it, it, it's right in our audience's yeah. wheelhouse. And uh, continued success. Chris Borman, CMO for Atomic here at the DevOps Enterprise Summit in London. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com.